Today we're going to be having a look at our very first healer here in Star Wars Hunters and that is going to be Zayna. Zayna has a blaster pistol for her weapon which is a medium range sidearm with high firepower but a very slow fire rate. Her ultimate, extremely strong, the rallying cry. You let out a defiant yell, giving allies in a range a significant amount of temporary health. And then her passive is combat medic, increased healing on allies with the critical health. I looked at all three of the healers in the game and I feel like Zayna is the easiest one to get the most amount of value while still being very strong on the battlefield. When it comes to her loadout, we have the very first option here, which is going to be her heal, and it's the back to bomb. You have two options. You can either go with the first, which is fling, where you release a burst of healing on detonation. It heals for more HP, and it can be thrown at a distance, or you can go with intensive, which is the same thing, but it detonates around Zayna in a large area of effect, healing for 80. Personally, I like the heal. Um, being directly on top of her because you don't have to think about it. You just click the button You know that it's gonna be a large AoE It's gonna heal people around you and you do have to play closer to your teammates So depending on playstyle, if you want to play super long range and you want to be chucking things from deep and using the magnum Then you can go for the fling I find that it's actually quite hard to land and sometimes it can even be hard to read your teammates So they'll move in a different direction and all of a sudden you waste your heal Second option here, we have the dodge roll. You have two options with this one as well. You roll to dodge incoming attacks, but you can either go with comeback, where Zayna heals herself for 20 health when using the dodge roll, or you can have two charges of the dodge roll. Personally, I feel like the double charge is a lot stronger. 20 health is not really going to change too much for you. Having two charges to have extra mobility to get out of harm's way probably will. And finally, we have the time bomb. You have two options for this one too. You throw a timed explosive, sticks to enemies, and deals up to 120 damage. Or you can go with the widespread, which is a large explosion radius that deals up to 80 damage. You can argue that the, the, the wide AoE is super strong in the control point. And especially if people are going to be grouped up together, you get to hit multiple people. But as the healer, I feel like having that ability to stick someone, because it's still going to deal like that, that explosive damage, right? So if somebody pulls up to your face and they're right on top of you, especially those like lightsaber heroes or any of the tanks, you easily you just tap it you're gonna throw the sticky bomb straight on their face and deal 120 damage you combine that with the damage of her weapon and you can actually wipe out people very very quickly especially if your teammates are going to be helping you out oh boy we've got the Xana and the Graz and the sentinel oh my goodness with the reeve in the back pocket as well that's a crazy good team their team is toxic though of course they got the Graz, senti and imara vex no healer but the damage on that team is insane insane especially on this map oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy i'm gonna initially stick with well actually it depends on who's playing well i was gonna say i go with sentinel there but... look at that sticky damage that's no joke that's some good damage bro <laughs> And this Magnum is not trash. Like, this is a good weapon. You can for real peek people. The new Republic is alive and well. It's a good, it's a good grenade. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Oh boy, don't run, don't run. Look at that big heal. Look at that big heal. Let's go ahead and drop our ult here. Why not? Here's a party favor for ya. The new Republic is alive and well. Zena. You like how I'm saying like Zena is not like her weapon is so good. Oh, that's the uh, yeah, that's the big boy Amara Vex alt up top. Oh my goodness, close game actually. We're just one, running in one at a time. I love that for us. Eventually, someone's gotta. The new Republic is alive and well. Oh, he, 
pushed away. We got it right on his head. Didn't get, didn't get there in time. We have an ult that we can use. Nice, that was really good performance. My team, my team was good there. That was, uh, that's the Zayna's fun. She's probably gonna end up being my favorite healer. Like I said, I looked at all the healers and I was like, you can get a lot of value out of her very easily and still deal some pretty decent damage. There, luckily my team was good enough so I could focus more on healing and less on having to use my gun. But even with that, look at that, 1600 damage, second only to the Sentinel. That's, uh, that's extremely good, six, one, and eight as well. Yeah, it's gonna be trophy chase. No, I just honestly prefer control. I really do. I don't think it's a bad game. Like I, I've been playing it. I, I feel like what it is is when you play trophy chase and your team is like not good, dude. It's harder to carry because it's like the other team just sits on top of each other and doesn't move. Whereas like at least in control, the point forces people to rotate. It forces a little bit of you know what I'm saying, like a little bit of outplay potential. Because you can't just hold one specific spot. I don't know. Oh, that's a bit. Ah! Oh, my gosh. You're chasing me when you're you're okay. You're talented. Like I understand trying to put the healer down, but like. Oh, they just win. Draws is cooking. The new Republic is alive oh my gosh. Well. I need to get to him, but I really like he's running away from me, bro. I don't mind holding this. I don't think I can if I roll though. But I don't mind holding it either. I really miss that easy throw. Sad. And die, but on your feet, soldier. Oh, don't tell my boys AFK who just lose. Nice, I love that. No way, my Graz is just AFK, bro. Oh, no way. On your feet, soldier. No, I just walk in front of that. So we just lose. All my teammates just went AFK. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, 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 yes.
I can't get to the heal. Maybe I gotta dash there. Oh my gosh, dash there, come back and pick it up. I still don't win it. 94, I don't win that either way. This is unfortunate, actually. We just lose because my teammates are AFK for half the game. Oh, that's so, look at him. Oh my gosh, bro. That's so sad. Doesn't matter, we just lose. Wow. My tank went AFK. It was a good game, too, you know? I can't do anything. <laughs> Two of my teammates went AFK on me, dude. But I feel like that was like really good showcase of her abilities as well, man. They just went to sleep. Oh, that's so crazy. Look at the damage 5.6k damage on the healer. Like her, she's not weak, bro. And then the damage she does with the grenade, too. Most damage in the entire game. My tank just went AFK halfway through. Otherwise, that's a free win. Unfortunate. 10 and 2, though. Even 3,600 healing as well. More healing than their, their healer and their Graws combined, which is ridiculous, bro. Zayna's the real deal.